श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम इन दिस रिट्रीट वी विल बी studying isha vasya upanishad upanishad shabdena brahma vidya uchyate by the word upanishad what is meant is brahma vidya brahma vidya is not like paka vidya the knowledge of cooking it is not like the um को पायलट विद्या नो ब्रह्म विद्या इज ब्रह्म ही विद्या इट इज नॉट दी नॉलेज ऑफ ब्रह्मन दिस वर्ड उपनिषद इज एनालाइज इन अ वेरी सिस्टमैटिक मैनर उप नी एंड शद दीज थ्री वर्ड्स put together becomes upanishad upa means near like upavas upavas means we should be nearer to bhagwan but upavas means what we are nearer to the food upa ni means with commitment nischayena nirantaram and shad is the root dhatu now this dhatu shad has got three meanings one is gati himsa and avasadan gati means destination gps so upanishad tells us the destination of our life unless we have clarity about the destination we keep on moving from here to there we don't know where we have to go what is the destination of us as human beings as stones and bricks we discarded and we evolved as plants we discarded the plant life we further evolved as animals we discarded the animal life now we evolved as human beings so as a human being at the upadhi level at the level of the conditioning through which we are expressing we have reached the acme of evolution as a human being hereafter what is pending in life see so what is pending as a human being in our life is spiritual evolution therefore ahara nidra bhaya maithunancha four things are common between 
us and animals are eating right from morning breakfast ke liye kya by the time you start eating lunch ke liye kya banao see so ahar nidra even in satsang nidra then bhaya all the time a sense of insecurity i don't know what is going to happen what is going to happen if you observe the birds or any animal they are so alert lest somebody may come and kill me sense of insecurity and therefore we have got insurance sense of insecurity lesser the insecurity concern more is our devotion and dedication to the god more the insurance faith we believe i don't know in your country in india we have got lic and what is written below yoga kshemam vahamyam stolen from bhagavad gita bhagwan krishna says ananya chintayanto mam ye jana paryupasate tesham nitya abhiyuktanam yoga kshemam vahamyam bhagwan par bharosa nahi see and what is the lic give us money and die we will take care of our company e friends so first <clears throat> what is the destination of our life then the sense of insecurity has to be removed and therefore uh, our sadhana our sadhana means loosening the impact of the world around us so three things gati destination second is loosening the impact of the world and third destroying the wrong notions see this word you must have heard 100 times avidya or ignorance ajnanam normally it is translated as absence of knowledge 100% wrong translation knowledge cannot be absent i don't know this but this you know is it not so where is the absence of knowledge then the incompleteness in knowledge ajnana apurna jnanam ignorance incomplete knowledge now what is the incompleteness in knowledge the i am body is not the problem like when we stand in front of the mirror there is no problem but in our place if there is a bird standing in front of the mirror then he has a problem because he takes the reflection in the mirror as real and the problem begin we also stand in front of the mirror we also see the reflection but we accept it it appears but doesn't exist so appearance is not the problem body identification is not the problem taking body identification as real is the problem okay. so this ajnana ignorance has to be destroyed himsa unless this ignorance is destroyed therefore we must know what is the meaning of ignorance ignorance means wrong notions we are all leading notional life first notion i am body nobody told us you are body but we hold on to that we don't enquire see for wrong notion about ourselves so whether i am a man or a woman whether i am a husband brother father mother sister in law out law how many wrong notions these wrong notions create problem 
This is Ajnanam. I am body is not the problem. This body I am, that body I am not. Problems begin. Now on what ground we say, this body I am. Neither I have created, nor the body listens to me. And yet I am this body. Same story with other bodies. But we are firmly rooted in this. So wrong notion about ourselves. Wrong notion about the world. In Panchadashi, the world is defined. There are two creations. One is Isha Srishti, God's creation. Second is Jiva Srishti, our creation. A woman is created by God. Woman as a woman, no problem. But out of that woman, the father creates a daughter and suffers till she gets married. <coughs> out of the same woman, husband creates a wife. Dash, dash, dash. I have no experience and authority to talk on that. Therefore, fill in the gap. You are expert in that. Then out of the same woman, the child creates a mother. And who are suffering and creating problems? It is the daughter, it is the wife, it is the mother. Now out of this, what is the right understanding? So, in God's creation, there are no problems. In our creation, there is nothing but problems. So, what should be the spiritual practice? Migrate from our creation and enter in God's creation. So, wrong notion about ourselves, wrong notion about the world, then wrong notion about God. Because right from childhood we have been hearing so many things. And that God is recognized by us as an object of knowledge. See, there is one text of uh, Bhagavan Ravana Maharshi, Saddarshan. You might have heard it. In that Saddarshan, uh, I have written a book on that. And the name of the book is Knowing is Being. You cannot know without being. And you cannot be without knowing. In short, that knowledge where objectivity is not an issue is the truth. So if I see God as someone other, then how many problems will come? Dviti yatvai bhayam bhavati Pradharanakopanishad says Wherever there is a sense of otherness, there is fear, there is desire, there is anger. See, friends. So what is God? Another wrong notion. And then one more wrong notion about spiritual practice. Kurute Ganga Sagar Gamanam Vrata Paripalanam Athavadanam And after going to holy places, Fighting with the Panditji. You have gone there to God's darshan or fighting with the Panditji. Many years before, we were in Badrinath. There was a group of about 15 20 people, one bus load. We had our darshan and we came down, crossing the bridge. You must have seen Badrinath, crossing the bridge on the Alaknanda. And there was one uh, restaurant. And uh, we had some South Indians, some North Indians. So we entered there. And uh, I said, hey, all of you will take uh, dosha? Yes, I will take. I said, Mahatma Ji, sabko dosha khila. So everybody was given dosha. No payment. So he charged those days, dosha is to be available for 2 rupees. Now this person charged 25 rupees per dosha. And there was one Saudi. Saudi means South Indian. Saudi visas. And he became so angry. Started shouting and 
speaking very rough language. So that shopkeeper, he looked at me. So I winked at him. He understood. He said, no, sir, don't worry. Swamiji is ours and he is my guest. So you are all my guest. Afterwards, I paid him. So you have gone there for fighting for rate of dosha. Now those people are not sitting there for charity. To get one kilogram of rice from down to there, it costs them 60, 70, 100 rupees. And out of that they prepare and give you. See? But this is how under the disguise of spirituality, we get lost in non-essentials in life. See, friends. Therefore, we have to get rid of this avidya means wrong notions. Wrong notion about ourselves, about God, about world and about spiritual practice. It is for this purpose we study Upanishad. If we have this notion, what will I get if I study Upanishad? I guarantee you, you will get nothing. You see, all the stotras, at the end of every stotra, there is a palashruti. See? Aratharthi labet artha, putrarthi labet puttara, dhanarthi labet dhana, mokshaarthi labet. So, some kind of bite is given, bait is given. Here, we are very clear. If we are studying Upanishad with an expectation, what I will get? You are in a wrong place. You will get nothing. Oh God, we came all the way. You get nothing. You get nothing. Then what do you get, Swamiji? I also get nothing. Then what? why you do this thing? Time pass. See, understand our Maha Mantra that I played in the beginning. Life is a time pass. What is time pass where gain and loss are equal? When we play with the kids. Isn't it? In one of the children's camp, I, was, I have told this event many years before. There was a children's camp and <clears throat> they say, Swamiji, you have to come and play with us. We listen to you in the lecture, now you have to listen to us. I said, come on here, I can't play. You are so nice student. Play, I'll watch. No, no, you have to come. They were playing cricket. I said, I'll come under one condition. What? My rules, not your rules. Okay, Swamiji, at least you come. I said, rule number one, I'll do only batting. Number two, I will never be out. <laughs> and you don't ask me to run and catch the ball. Agreed? Yes, you come at least. And then I started. After one or two balls, that boy shouted, Swami D, LBW. I said, do you think I don't understand? What is LBW? Leg before wicket. My legs are not seen. How can you say leg before wicket? He said, Swami D, for you, the meaning is different. Lungi before wicket. Now for me, it was just a time pass. Neither victory nor gain. This is the foundation of Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Krishna says to Arjun, second chapter, if I remember correctly, 38th verse or something like that. Sukha dukhe same krutva, labha labhu jaya jayo, tato yudnayo yujjasva, naivam papam avapsasi. Whenever we do anything in our life, what are the results? Either we win or we are defeated. Jaya Jayo. Jaya Ajay. If we win, we are gainers. If we are defeated, we are losers. The first pair, victory and defeat. Second pair, gain and loss. Third pair, if we gain, we are happy. If we lose, we are miserable. So the third pair is joy and sorrows. 
भगवान से समे कृत्वा मीनिंग वॉट लाइक द एग्जाम्पल आई गेव यू वी प्ले विद द किड्स टू विन और टू गेट डिफिटेड नथिंग वाय जस्ट टू कीप दिम ऑक्युपाइड सो दैट द फूड इज कुड इन द हाउस दैट्स इट नईवम पापम अवाप्स सी फिर भगवान से यू विल नॉट इनकर सिन बी अटेंटिव सिन कैनॉट बी ओनली हंड्रेड परसेंट सिन इन दिस वर्ल्ड अदर देन परमात्मा एवरीथिंग इज इन पेयर्स जॉय सॉरोज गेन लॉस फ्रेंड एनिमी सीन मेरिट ग्लोइंग रेलवे ब्रिज किलिंग दी गवर्नमेंट ऑफिशियल्स वॉज एन एक्ट ऑफ पेट्रियाटिज्म ड्यूरिंग द फ्रीडम फाइट इज इट नॉट ऑन द सेम एक्ट इफ इट इज डन टूडे इट इज एन एक्ट ऑफ टेररिज्म सी फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वर्ल्ड एवरीथिंग इज इन पेयर्स so also naivam papam avapsasi no what is pap pap is when we function in this world does it leave an impression on the mind in the form of like or dislike if our interaction with the world leaves an impression on our mind in the form of likes what will happen we will run towards that if the impression is opposite dislike we will run away from that so what is our life run or run think and this all happens because ajnanam wrong notions see friends so by upanishad what bhagwan shankara acharya defines is by brahma vidya alone all your problems will be dissolved friends understand problems cannot be solved we only change problems see the other day somewhere recently here only one lady came up from my talk and she says swami ji i want to talk to you something personal i said i have no personal no 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 my personal i want i said i am not interested no no please I said okay speak see i have got a big problem i don't know how to sort it whether i should separate or i should not and all that is there any um, way in our scriptures i said there is no mention of divorce in hindu scriptures then what should i do i say i have got only one solution think properly what are you doing you are only changing the problem you are not solving the problem aakash se tapke khajur pe latke see then what i should do uh, this is for all the husband and wife try this i guarantee you you will be always happy in life this maha mantra i have given somewhere in one of my talks husband should address wife mithya darling and a wife should address the husband mithya husband how are you mithya means which appears but doesn't exist separate the husband from the man and show upanishad तत्र माता अमाता भवती तत्र पिता अपिता भवती इन द डीप स्लीप हजबंड इज नॉट हजबंड मदर इज नॉट मदर फादर इज नॉट फादर दैट हजबंड हू डेयर्स नॉट लुक एट द वाइफ फीट फॉर गेट अबाउट द फेस वेन दे स्लीप टूगेदर एट नाइट ई स्नोर सो लाउडली वेयर फ्रॉम द करेज कम्स No, I am no more your husband. Hey, friends, don't take relational life so seriously. Thode gum hai, 
थोड़ी खुशी आ ये जीवन है विथ दिस फाउंडेशन इफ वी अंडरस्टैंड दैट स्टडी ऑफ उपनिषद इज फॉर होम फोर टाइप्स ऑफ पीपल फ्री बॉलीवुड डांस इन्विटेशन फॉर एवरीबडी मैक्सिमम रश इज इट नॉट सेकेंड हॉस्पिटल्स अनदर बिग रश थर्ड टेम्पल्स तिरुपति बालाजी मैक्सिमम रश फोर्थ जिम बॉलीवुड भोगी हॉस्पिटल्स रोगी टेम्पल्स कामी गॉड डू दिस गॉड डू दिस गॉड डू दिस गॉड देर फॉर लॉन्गर द लिस्ट ऑफ डिमांड लॉन्गर इज द नमस्कार oh forgot one more just a minute and gym you see any gym you can see throughout the world they give so much of freebies join one month free and you can come with your partner and yet all the machines are standing there or koi to aao who goes to gym those who are healthy and those who want to maintain health this study of upanishad is not for those who do not want to come out of their mess of life free bread therefore this upanishad what the upanishad does so ishavasya upanishad and brudarnyak upanishad both of them we belong to the sama veda and the first <coughs> few chapters are dealing with karma kanda etc and thereafter this upanishad comes and this upanishad begins with a uh, most popular shanti path so you all know please repeat after me because when it is a uh, भजन कीर्तन वे इन द कथा कार सीज पीपल आर स्लोली गोइंग टू स्लीप सो देन ही सेज सी आवर रामचंद्र की जय हियर आई कैनॉट से लाइक दैट देर फोर आई विल चैंट यू ऑल्सो चैंट ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमिद रिपीट आफ्टर मी पूर्णात पूर्ण मुदच्यते पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवावशिष्यते पूर्णमेवावशिष्यते ओम शांति 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 ही ओम शांति 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 तो वी बिगिन आवर स्टडी by invocation of the divine grace and therefore we are addressing the divine om see in our vedas the truth is indicated in three ways one is in vedanta nirgun nirakar brahman in yoga shastra paramatma सगुण निराकार इन भक्ति शास्त्र द सेम भगवान इज रेफर्ड एज भगवान तो ब्रह्म परमात्मा एंड भगवान ब्रह्म इज निर्गुण निराकार परमात्मा इज सगुण निराकार सगुण मीन्स वॉर्ड ही कंट्रोल्स द फाइव एलिमेंट्स so he is controlling the space he is controlling the air he is controlling everything how can the same thing control everything because he has no form he is controlling our digestion he is controlling our headache he is controlling our minds modifications he controls our memory therefore he is control of everything but because he is a controller he is saguna 
but he doesn't have any particular form and therefore saguna nirakar and bhagavan rama krishna govinda devi shivji they have got both name and the form when we are leading our life as the body for the body on everybody we require a, a support which also have got a name and a form therefore till such time we are functioning as body we must have a personal god in our life as an anchor to hold on it is very necessary like a child the child is taught one this is what one now one more now this is one two now one more now this is one two three for the child it is necessary support but after you have gone to college there also you sit in the class one one two will it look good but till such time we are living as the body for the body on everybody we must have an anchor friends saguna sakar that is the meaning of om if we are withdrawing from our worldly demands now our issue of our life is our mind is a problem for us then for such the yoga abhyas so the lord is controlling so whether there is anger or greed it is under his control so let me surrender to his will therefore when we practice yoga practice of yoga is not fulfilling the desires but rising above the desires i even don't want to see god in yoga vashishta vashishta ji tells bhagwan ram ram your problem is you do meditation don't do meditation because when you do anything it will end you will see most of the people who are doing meditation half an hour meditation whole rest of the day frustration remember these basics see friends actions are required under certain conditions if you have to cross distances actions are required if you have to add something actions are required if you have to clean something actions are required the truth that we are seeking is not far away that we have to go somewhere the truth is not incomplete that we have to add something the truth is not a uh, dirty so we have to purify that and therefore remember one simple rule of life knowledge never gets contaminated i see the red color then the green color then the blue color by what i am seeing by my vision when my vision see the red color i don't become red when green color i don't become green blue color i don't become blue blue when i see a man i don't become masculine woman i don't become feminine these are the basic my friends knowledge never gets contaminated but how the knowledge gets contaminated i don't like yellow color yellow yellow dirty yellow i like blue color now what is the logic behind likes and dislikes there is no logic and our whole life is guided and influenced by the likes and dislikes 
and what is the prosperity and affluence, you entertain more and more likes and dislikes. Then you are affluent. See? But we forget. We are enslaved by likes and dislikes. See, friends, therefore knowledge doesn't get contaminated and therefore we don't have to go any distance to know the truth. We don't have to uh, purify the knowledge pure. It is always, we don't have to add anything. Knowledge is infinite. Knowledge is neither created nor destroyed. Sat Chit Ananda. In Tatya Upanishad, this mantra comes. Satyam Jnana Manantam Brahma Yo Vedanitam Guhayam Paramevyo Manna Soshnute Sarvan Kamansa Brahmana Vipaschiteti. When you recognize this as your divine nature, then life is a time pass. Na kuch pana, na kuch kona. Nothing to do, nowhere to go. All what I said is included in that innocent Om. Then, what is said? What is this Om? What is this Paramatma? What is this Bhagavan? What is this Brahman? Purnamadaha, Purnamidam. That is infinite. If that is infinite, this is also infinite. Ornaments born out of or, uh, gold will continue to be gold. See, so be very attentive. You take any metal, you have all studied, let's say, metallurgy. Nowhere, what is the shape of a metal is indicated as a property. Think, gold, steel, silver. Have we studied that gold has got a round shape? No. The truth is formless. And this formless truth supports all the forms of the ornaments. When the ornaments are melted, there is no loss to the gold. When ornaments are created, there is no gain to the gold. It is for whom? For the jeweler. But if a lady goes to the jeweler shop and she gets enchanted by the name, the form, the design, this is the um, special, only one piece in the world. See? It so happened in uh, Bahrain, my friend is a jeweler. So he took me to his shop and uh, somewhere there was one, mm, you know, like that toran we have got on the you know, door, like that a very huge, um, I said, hey, where will you hang it? On that door or that door? No, no, Samiji, this is not, it is the necklace. I said, what is the weight? He said, two kilos. And he said, this is the only piece in the whole world. And whatever uh, price he told, which I don't know. And he said, Swamiji, you don't know. I create every month one unique piece. And people take it. See? Now who take it? Those who are enchanted by the name and the form. See? But the jeweler knows. Although I am telling it is pure gold, it is only silver painted with the gold. That's it. See, friends. Therefore, Purnamadaha Purnamidam. The whole world is nothing but Paramatma. Be attentive. Study of scriptures. 
is for changing our vision. When our vision changes, our interactions change. When our interactions change, our experiences change. When our experiences change, the quality of our life changes. There was a youngster sitting on a mobile and this happened in Mumbai. These days in Bombay there are too many motorcycles. I don't know where from they have come. So there was one lady going ahead. From backside she was looking very beautiful, nice. So he, just to flirt, he went and stood in front of her. For what? To say hi. But the one who was looking young girl from backside, from the front when he saw, it was 82 not out. What he will say? Hi, hi. Immediately, the moment your vision changes, everything changes in life. See, friends, if we look upon the world, Ishava Samidam Sarvam, further, Yatkincha Jagatyam Jagat, it will come. Therefore, Purnamadaha Purnamidam, because Purnan Purnamudachate. Out of the gold, barring the grace of the jeweler, only gold will be there in the ornaments. Therefore, Purnasya Purnamadaya, he who is able to recognize the divinity in the creation, be attentive, truth cannot be known objectively. Therefore, I told you, knowing is being. So, when it is said, Purnasya Purnamadaya, in this manifest world, if you are able to uh, discover the unmanifest substratum that is supporting the plurality without becoming many, Purnasya Purnamadaya, Purnameva Shishate, he has merged with the infinite. This is the vision. Purnasya Purnamadaya, Purnameva Shishate. And thereafter, three Shantis, Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Okay. Traditionally, they say the three Shantis are Adi Bhautik, Adi Daivik, and Adhyatmik. Adi Bhautik Shanti means what? Our body is no more an issue for us. Okay. All the time, pain here, pain there, pain, pain everywhere. Remember one basic thing I am telling you. We have got three bodies. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti for the three bodies. All three bodies exist in diseases. That body which does not have disease is dead. Is there any report? The incidence of cancer in the Catholic graveyard, dead bodies don't have disease. If you have got some problem, thank God I am still alive. That is called a Vyadi. And then the subtle body, the mind. The disease of the subtle body is Adi. Kama, Krodha, Lobha, Moha, Madhamat, Saryam put together desire. So when our body stops becoming unhealthy, the body is dead and body is dead is not dead. Then it merges back to the source. Out of the five elements, the body is made. When the body dies, first body heat merges with the total heat. Then the body air merges with the total air. Then the body water merges with the total water principle. And the... Uh, principle of earth merges with the uh, earth and the space which was occupied by the body is the release for other bodies. Who died? In the same manner, be very attentive. 
in the same manner when the adhi the disease of the subtle body or the mind is desire when desires disappear the mind dies so be attentive like when the body dies all the five elements are going back to their source therefore nothing died exactly the same way when the mind is free from the virus of desire the mind dies meaning mind merges back to consciousness consciousness with desires is mind mind minus desire is consciousness what upanishad tells at the end yada sarve pramuchyante kama desires yasya vridhishritah athamartya amruto bhavati atra brahma samashnate living at zero desire level is merging in the absolute so these three shantis which are said here for shanti body level don't go on complaining about the body yes body is having but take the medication what is required and go through that's it but then we carry all the time the same thing see friends one of the simplest technique is don't talk about your health to anybody and don't ask anybody about their health health this i learned from you only i told you you are all my gurus i learned from everybody from all of you once i was in uh, delhi in some punjabi family out of my foolishness or mistake i went to that old lady did namaskar to her i said amma how are you oh swami ji tu si aage un pe thote so i said that. and then she started swami ji this morning when i got up my ankle got twisted it is giving so much of pain and then meanwhile her grandson called me swami ji one minute i said amma your grandson calls me i'll come back i went how can you listen to grandmother i said what should i do take my uh, our technique what is that whenever she starts anything we show her fingers grandma you told four times she keeps quiet i said hey guru maharaj dhanyawad for maha mantra i came back again ah uh, i said swami ji what i was telling you i forgotten never mind i start again or is it a ramayan or what so when she started i showed with both hands amma don't talk about your health issues to anybody don't ask anybody about their health don't get entangled otherwise that becomes ah aapke tabiyat kaise hai abhi mare nahi aap nahi marhenge itna dil se see friends don't do that that is first shanti now the second shanti is the desires so when there are no desires you will be not talking about your plans in the future most important thing many times we talk nobody is interested in us remember See, nobody has asked us, but we keep on telling. See, therefore, one of our maha mantra is that, who asked you? This maha mantra I got in Madhurkedar. Many years before, I was young that time. We finished darshan in the morning, four o'clock, and with that amma with whom I was, very elderly lady, and she had whole Bhagavat uh, Mahapuran Kantastha. So she used to chant every day one chapter before Narayana. I used to also go take darshan and come back. So one day I told her, "I said, Amma, I had decided no more lectures. Enough of lecturing. 
So she laughed. I said, why are you laughing? When there is a joke, you have to laugh, is it not? I said, yeah, but what is the joke? I said, there can't be a better joke than this thing. I, Please tell me, I also laughed. She said, you said that you are not going to give lectures. I said, yes. Who asked you? Did Narayana ask you? No. Did I ask you whether you want to give lectures or not? No. no. Whose question you are answering? Tell me, can there be more wisdom than this? Your life will change, my friend. Constantly, we can't keep quiet. Therefore, the Adhi, the second Shanti is, let us be at peace with ourselves. For that, two techniques. Technique number one, don't talk to yourself. Technique number two, before you talk to others, ask a question to yourself. Is it necessary to talk? You don't have to observe Mauna. If necessary, then talk. Slowly, slowly, our old habit of poultry farm, on every topic, we have got opinion. On every topic, we have got suggestion. On every topic, we have got evaluation. We have to talk. Suppose four or five people are there, you are standing there. They are take, talking on some topic, which you do not know. But yet, we will poke our nose. Why? We want to get involved. See, my friends, this is the second, second Shanti. This is the Shanti of the subtle body. And the third Shanti is that of the causal body, not casual body. The causal body. Causal body, the disease is Ajnana. Ajnana is wrong notions. Wrong notions, be very attentive. In Dharma, in Yoga, there is notion replacement. Like, Earlier, I was taking non-vegetarian. Now, I don't take. So, I have become holy. Earlier, I used to see movies going to the IMAX. Now, I see at home only. See? Earlier, I used to wake up very late, 10 o'clock. Now, I wake up at quarter to 10. That I is still there. We need to get freedom from I. Not freedom for I. This is third Shanti. See? And what is the what will be the third Shanti? Therefore, wrong notions are discarded and new notions are not created. If you observe our own life, what we talk about is only how our notions about ourselves were changing. And by that, this our I remains intact. For this one technique, don't talk about your past. Don't ask anybody about their past. No notions. What is the notion? A mule carrying the burden of the total past. When we were children, see the oldies? When we were children, back home, we used to climb on the trees. These days children don't do anything. They have no tail. You had. Even my NRI my grandfather came. And here children, you know, they will be taking the, their game and no, 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 no. So, who are old people? When children are sitting, they'll ask them to get up. When they are standing, they are sitting. They are elder. They have to rule over somebody. So, now the child was nicely playing whatever he was playing. Don't sit whole day at home. Go and play outside. 
So he went outside, sat and started playing. <laughs> Why get involved in anybody's life? Don't get involved. Then wrong notions will be removed. We are here for our spiritual evolution. We have destroyed our life. Let them destroy their life. Do we want to help them? friends for the same couple I, I was in uh, this thing uh, Houston they have twins two of them so cute one of them is absolutely cold the other one is a rakshas and that other one difficult to know who is who they look so alike, hundred percent alike. So what the parents do? One's name is Raj, other's name is Yash. Raj is tied with a red band, and Yash is tied with a yellow band. This is how they recognize their own children. So alike. But that Raj is a Rakshasa, and that Yash is so calm and quiet. So Swamiji, why this is? I say manufacturer's defect. Remember, children are born through us. Children are not born to us. Be friends. When these three things are taken care of, Om Shanti Shanti Shanti, then we are tuned for the study of the Upanishad. So, we now enter the first mantra. Please repeat after me. Om Isha Vasyamidam Sarvam Om Isha Vasyamidam Sarvam Yatkincha Jagatyam Jagata Tena tyaktena bhunjitha, Magrudakkasya siddhanam. Again we start Om Ishavas. You know, in uh, the Western tradition, the songs are numbered, isn't it? Hey, sing that number, char sabis. But our place, Hey, oh, Bhagwan ki arti, you got konsi arti? Oh, Om Jai Jagdish are. They are not numbered. Same way. Why this is called Isha, Upani, Isha Vasya Upanishad? Because it begins with Isha. Kena Upanishad? There also Kena. Asa Kena, na, Kene Shidam Padati Preshitam Manaha. So Kena Upanishad. Brudharanik Upanishad, very big. Therefore, Brudharanik. So here, this is Isha Vasya Upanishad because it begins with the Isha. So, Isha Vasya, now first of all I will tell you, this mantra of this Upanishad gives us vision. Recently we have got cataract. Recently I got my cataract operated. And therefore, I don't need glasses. This is only an ornamental. Because last 40, 50 years I was having glasses. Every time I will do like this thing. Because of the old habit. Then the doctor told, better you keep the glasses on. It takes zero number. Dust don't allow it to go too much. It may trouble you later. So, we have to change our vision. Our present vision is cataract vision. What is the cataract vision? This world is for enjoyment. See, world is not for enjoyment. World is a platform where we can evolve. It is for evolution. See, animals and manusha, manav, what is the difference? 
animals do not have relationship. See, a dog delivers, uh, let us say, three, four pups. Now those pups, when they are babies, they are with the mother and everything is fine. Slowly, slowly they grow up. When they come to maturity, for them there is no relationship, mother and daughter or son. Same case with the uh, cows. They don't have relationship. Manusha, manasa sivyati iti manusha. The one who establishes relations through the thread of mind is called as a manusha. If we take this world as only a place for indulgence, see, it is so important to know, friends. When we look at somebody with a bad eye, and then we come to know she is our sister or our mother or somebody, everything disappears. Because now we have seen something different. Earlier we thought something different. In the same manner, presently we think this world is a place for indulgence. Khao pyo moj karo. But when our vision changes, what is the vision? This is Isha Vasne Vidam Sarvam. Everything is permeated, saturated by the Divine Presence. I was talking to uh, Ajit. In the morning we went for a walk. So while walking I told him one thing. I don't know he remembers or not, but I remember. Two principles you take. This mantra you will be very clear. Two principles. We are non specific existence. Now, take for example to understand this. This is water bottle. This is cactus plant. This is a man. This is a mic. This is light. This is not comfortable. This is very cold. So that is existence, is common. It is not separate. In this point you catch, go further. Non-specific existence. What is specific existence? Red is not green, green is not blue, blue is not yellow, yellow is not dark. Specific. What is the non specific existence? The vision. Vision has no color, no form. What will be the spiritual practice? Give up undue importance to anything which is special. Man is non specific, son is specific, husband is specific, father is specific, brother is specific, son in law is specific, father in law is specific. Man is common. If father dies, nothing happens to son. If wife dies, nothing happens to husband. If the son dies, nothing happens to the father. If the brother dies, nothing happens to the brother. But if the man dies, none of them have existence. So we are non-specific existence. Aupadhik anekta, multiplicity created because of certain conditions. They appear but do not exist. Take the appearance as appearance, no problem. 
But when we take appearance as real, our condition is like the bird. So what the bird will do and what we do? When we stand before the mirror, we do our makeup, this thing, that thing. Use it. We don't get influenced by that. But the bird now fighting against it. Oh God, now what is to be done? Um, let me do yoga. So the bird does yoga and open the eyes. Oh, still there. It is not going. I think some different practice I have to do. Then he will be doing pranayam. And again opens. Oh, still there. Pranayam doesn't work here, I think. Let me chant the Lord's name. And he chants, Om Nusha, Om Nusha, Om Nusha, Om Nusha. So still there. Not going. I don't know. I think let me see where, what is he? He goes behind the mirror. No, it's not there. I think he has gone. Again comes and stands in front of the, oh, it has come again. Oh God, what I should do, what I should do, what I should do. Then, Kurute Ganga Sagar Kavanam Vrata Paripalan Navatavadhanam. Again he comes back home and, oh, still there. What I should do? I think I should break the mirror. He break the mirror. There are many of them. So many of them come again. Friends, remember one basic principle. Recognition of the illusion as an illusion is the only way to get out of illusion. Deko Maharaj. Now for that we have to understand what is illusion. Illusion appears but doesn't exist. Like mirage waters appear. Now, one more step. If you tell, see, I was coming in the evening, it was getting dark, but I saw a lot of mirage waters. What will say, hey, don't bluff. Mirage waters can be seen at a particular time of the day when the sun rays hit the earth perpendicular. In a, on a hot day, then the rays become refracted to the hot air. They appear like water, but they are not. We know, therefore what happens? We enjoy. We talk about it. But we never think about harvesting the mirage waters and showing to grandchildren. No, I was coming, you know, I got grand this. Uh, no. Exactly this world appears like the mirage waters, only in a particular condition. Their condition is when we are identified with the body. When we are snoring away, that time, where are we, when are we, and what are we? Deko Maharaj, karna kuch nahi hai. Nothing to do, no, uh, nowhere to go. This non-specific existence, we have to work on this thing. And what is this non-specific existence? Theoretically, we understood. Now, knowledge is jnanam and experience is bodha. What you are listening is knowledge. What I am talking is experience. Now, what is the experience? See, friends. Experience is Pramana Nirapeksha Anubhuti. Experience which does not involve operation of the known means of knowledge. Which are the known means of knowledge? Sense organs, mind and intellect. That experience which does not involve operation of sense organs because the truth doesn't have any specificity. Mind because there are no emotions. Intellect because the truth is not a concept.
with this vision we have to live our life then we come to understand bhagwan shankar acharya yogarato va bhogarato va sangarato va sangavihina yasya brahmani ramate chittam nandati 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 eva bhaja govindam bhaja govindam om ishavasim idam sarvam and yat kinche jagatyam jagat nothing is excluded yat kinche slowly slowly we become so subjective in our understanding that right hand and left hand do i have to say hey my right hand was hurt so left hand went and troubled no 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 they may be two but i don't have the experience that i have become two i am only one so perception of otherness is not the problem taking the otherness as real is the problem like for example when our tongue is beaten by our teeth will the tongue tell the teeth somebody has to go to dentist now i will remove you no and when the tongue goes and digs in between the teeth and remove the stuff from there will the teeth say thank you darling you always help me no because isha vasim idam sarvam i am alone there may be multiplicity therefore it's not only in the upper part i am lower part i am not for me there is no upper lower it's only one this is the vision isha vasim idam sarvam yat kinche jagatyam jagat when this vision changes what happens is the next part of the mantra let us leave it for tomorrow om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva avashishyate om shanti 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 hari hi om shri gurubhyo namaha hari hi om